Well, has it been a long time since I last filmed a week in outfits video? This is going to be more of an outfits of the month, but I hope that you will get some great outfit inspiration because I just love the transitional season and I really enjoy doing these videos. I'm just going to be filming on my phone, so I hope that the audio and also the video quality is okay. It just seems to be recording better than my vlogging camera. It's got dust in it and I don't know, it's not focusing properly. The lighting on it is all weird. Maybe I just need to tinker around with the settings a bit to get it right. But Anyway, let's just get into it, talk about what I am wearing today, and yeah, I'll flip the camera around so you can see. Okay, and so for today's outfit, it's a little pan down, all black. Uh, I've opted to wear this beautiful vest from Marl. So this is quilted. It's kind of the vest version of the jacket that I got from Marl last year. Just fastens here at the side and you camera open but I quite like the way it looks like a top and almost just that sort of uh, unflattering proportion but in a way that feels really chic and effortless. The trousers are from facade pattern and I think probably on my TikTok I'll do a kind of side by side of how the black version which I have in the extra small and then how the sort of taupey brown version which I have in the small fit because there is a bit of a difference um, but I mean these are just my favorite trousers. Yep still very into a cropped pant I just think it's all about pairing with the right shoe and what mood you're in these shoes I have on are my mini flats oh I need to vacuum mini flats from Vivaya uh, you can get a real sense of how they have worn here they're just really comfortable and one of my favorite sort of go-to's and then the bag is from a Korean brand this is from W concept I imagine it's probably pronounced Louvre or something similar to that effect but I'm not 100% sure <laughs> but I mean, I have a coat from them, this bag, stunning. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking about doing a video on my favorite Korean brands and just talking about the fit and the quality. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Oh, and um, I'll flip around so you can see my jewelry. Okay, so all the jewelry that I'm wearing today is from Linnea because I was filming a partnership video with them and I've not taken off. I mean, I love the jewelry anyway. So we have these lovely pearl drop earrings. I think these are called the Asteroid and then I did get a second ear piercing. So these are from Sarah and Sebastian. Uh, they're solid gold. This one here is still in silver. Um, and then I also on the other side did an asymmetrical effect. So I've got this little bar. Uh, necklaces, turquoise beaded necklace, pearl beaded necklace, rings. I haven't put on my wedding bands. I get eczema and sometimes it hurts to actually wear them on my fingers. So, And then on the other hand, I do just have my Ilsa Ring Lux, and then also my Maya ring. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing today. I'll see you soon. Checking in with another outfit of the day, and sorry if you can hear the white noise machine. Our daughter's currently napping. Uh, so today, have pulled out one of my favorite pairs of trousers, these kind of nylon-esque pants, which are from Front Row. So I kind of centered the entire look around this. And um, because obviously it's autumn here in Sydney, I opted for this really kind of fun, playful sweater. This is from a brand called, I think it's Wakey. It's a W-A-I-K-E-I. -E um, and I just really love the Maltese pups on it, so cute. Uh, it just adds a little bit of playfulness to my outfits. Um, and yeah, the pants are just this really, really stunning, desaturated, almost kind of dusty blue that I like. And uh, because I've kind of gone for these more, I suppose, kind of in the gray family sort of tones, I've worn my light blue sandals. These are from 80. And these do have a little bit of a blue tinge to them. So they kind of really felt like they worked. I'm undecided about the bag, but I was wondering if I opted for contrast and went with my burgundy Poland number one bag or numero un handbag. Uh, this bag is one of my favorites. I do have it also in the chalk color and I always pull out the burgundy during the colder months just because I find that it works really, really well with that autumn winter color palette. Anyway, that is what I am wearing today. I will see you with my next look. I decided to switch out my bag for this nude croc embossed leather bag from The Curated. I've had this one for a good few years now and it's holding up really well, but I will say it's quite heavy for the size. Um, and yeah, I just thought 
it look really nice with the blue trousers that I'm wearing. I will pop a photo up on screen of my whole outfit though, just so you can get a sense. Hello again. Today I wanted to share with you a very typical outfit for what I wear when I'm doing the daycare run. Uh, so generally what will happen is I'll get up, I'll be really tired and I'll just throw on the first thing in the wardrobe that makes sense. And one thing I find, at least with the transitional season here, uh, as we head into sort of autumn winter, is that it's really cold in the morning, but then it heats up by about 9.30. Uh, so usually whatever I'm wearing first thing is gonna feel a little bit too layered up by the time I get back and I'm sort of getting into my day and working. So um, I've opted for this sweater, which I think I will have shared with you in another um, outfit in this video. So this is from Wakey. I just, I mean, how cute is this sweater? Honestly, I'm wearing the size one and they actually do tons of other ones. Um, I was looking on the website and I saw quite a few other ones I thought would be really nice. Um, I just love the kind of the fit, the fact that it's actually not too long when it's worn loose. So it kind of cuts off at the hip. Um, I'm just gonna tuck that back in again. And I'll, I will show you the inside is this really lovely soft fleecy lining. Then hang on. Then let's maybe get the bag out of the way, seeing as that's on my shoulder. It is the one from Luevro, which I will have shared with you before. I really like that. I can actually wear it crossbody too. If I wanted to, I can adjust the strap. Earrings, I'm just wearing these little drop earrings from Monica Vinita. And then I do have on my favorite chain necklace from Majuri. Jeans are from Levi's. These are the Wedgie Straight in the color Montgomery Baked. Highly recommend. This particular pair of jeans is so, so soft, really comfortable. Um, and I just wear them in my usual size 26. And then the shoes that I have on today are my Evelyn Day Gloves, still going strong and still one of the most comfortable shoes. Definitely a pair that I would recommend if you were going sort of on a city break or somewhere where you're gonna be walking loads. So that is the full outfit today. Another day, another outfit. Today going for an all black look with a light sandal um, and I really love how nice and clean this is creates an, a really lovely vertical line with no visual breaks uh, so the top is one that you probably will have seen me share before but not actually wear in situ so this is a vest from Cos. it's a knitted vest I really love this contrast crochet stitching which goes around the shoulders. Now, I'm actually wearing it back to front, so it does have a little V at the back, um, and I wear it with my usual size. I actually think this is on sale, so if you manage to get it, like I think it went on sale shortly after I purchased it. It is ever so slightly sheer, but I don't think it's gonna come up uh, on my phone camera. The trousers are from Arquette, and these are amazing. They are 100% wool. I don't find them itchy on my legs, but when I touch them, they do have that kind of woolen texture. Probably my only complaint is that they pick up lint like no tomorrow, <laughs> which can be really frustrating. So you need to have a lint roller on hand. They do just have the elasticated drawstring waist and yeah, pockets, really nice length too. These sandals are from 80 and they're basically a dupe for the bare sandals from the row. Really comfortable. And uh, I found there was no break in time. So yeah, that's the outfit. And then I'll just grab my bag, which is peeking in the background. Bag that I'm wearing is the Milo bag from Cezanne. If you want me to do a review on this, let me know because I thought I could compare it to a couple of other similar styles that I own. Um, but I love the color, though just know the natural scratches up quite considerably. So yeah. That's me today. I'll see you next time. Today's outfit feels very Parisian, very French girl inspired because of the color palette and also this lovely little knitted wool jacket. Um, I'm not mad at it. I feel like a lot of my transitional season outfits tend to kind of take on these French characteristics. So I am wearing, oh, earrings are from Majuri. I also have on my Majuri signet rings and Majuri chain necklace. Uh, then yeah, the striped knit jacket is from Goelia. I have a 25% off discount code, which I'll pop in the description box below. Uh, this has been one of my favorites in my wardrobe. It actually just fastens with these little clips here as opposed to with the buttons, so they're just decorative. The skirt that I'm wearing is my Arquette Cotton Twill Mini. This one is basically denim, uh, quite fitted around the waist and it's just a really easy throw on style, although I really need to soak mine because there's a couple of marks from the kids which won't come out in the regular wash. Bag is from Louvre. I hopefully I'm not butchering that name, but I really love the size of this and how it just kind of tucks 
underneath the arm. I haven't really got too much in there right now. And then my shoes are my About Ariane Ballet Flats, which I'm going to try and find a good alternative for because they seem to no longer be producing them. So that is my outfit info today. I might maybe do just one more outfit for this month before I sign off. See you next time. Final outfit check-in, and I think that this is really representative of the type of weather that we have here in Sydney over autumn. So first thing this morning, it was freezing. It was, uh, I think, 15 degrees when I went to drop the kids off. And then we've got a high of 25, which is summer in a lot of places. <laughs> so I've got kind of more of a summery base outfit. But then I also have a jacket on too. So first up, we've got earrings. These are my Linear Joran hoops, which I like. They're really light. I have that 25% off discount code. Tank is from Tibby. And this was a purchase from the Outnet. Didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do, but I really like this kind of offbeat, asymmetrical neckline detail. And when I have my hair in front like this, it almost looks like I'm wearing a one shoulder top, which I think is really cool. Uh, trousers are from Arquette and I will link uh, where you can buy Arquette in the US. The shoes are from YSL, just my beloved tribute slides. Again, big reason why uh, they're one of my most worn shoes year round. Then let me grab my jacket and my bag. Kind of worn this outfit combo before with the jacket, just a different top. This one's from the Open product and it's a faux leather, but really plush with this beautiful quilted lining. And then my bag is my Sabin Odal bag. I've pulled this one back out again. Uh, I do have a discount code for this too. Oh, and and the jacket. So yeah, that is the final outfit of April to share with you. Thank you so much for watching this video and getting a look into what I have been wearing in the month of April. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, and as usual, all my sizing outfit info that'll be down in the description box. Thanks for bearing with the fact that this has been filmed entirely on my iPhone. I hope the quality has been okay, but happy to take any feedback down in the uh, comments section. And yeah, thank you just so much for watching, spending some of your day with me. I hope you're having the most beautiful week and I will see you again very soon with a new video. Bye. <laughs>